Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to suppose that f is continuous on the interval from 1 to 5, and the only solutions of the equation f of x is equal to 6 are 1 and 4. If f of 2 is equal to 8, explain why f of 3 is greater than 6. So this is an application of the intermediate value theorem, but it's a little bit uh, confusing, so we're going to graph it first. So we're looking from the interval from 1 to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, and actually, that is, of course, talking about the x-axis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The y values are actually, it looks like, 6 and 8. So I think we have our bases covered. So we're continuous on this range. And f of x equals 6 if x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. So at x is equal to 1, the function is equal to 6. x is equal to 4, x, f is equal to 6. And f of 2 is equal to 8. And this function is continuous. And we're asked to explain why f of 3 is greater than 6. So the intermediate values theorem states, if a function is continuous over some interval, and we are looking at that interval, let's say from x is equal to a to x is equal to b, right? We know that if you pick any number between f of a and f of b, right? So if we pick any y value between the starting point and the ending point, there is a c such that um, f of c equals, and let's say if we're taking any number n, f of c equals n. So what does that mean? Any value you pick in this range between this point and this point, at some point the function is going to hit that point, or hit that value. So if that makes, why does that make sense? Well, if this function is continuous, right, let's say it goes like this, goes up, hits that point, and then goes back down again to hit this point. If we are continuous, we're going from here to here, there has to be a point where if you're starting here and you're ending here, let's say you want to hit 7, you can't get here without avoiding, while avoiding 7, right? You have to hit it at some point on the way. And so... What we're saying here is explain why f of 3 is greater than 6. Well, if we were to have f of 3 be somewhere down here, then the function would have to cross the line x is equal to 6, or y is equal to 6. Right? To get from above it to below it, you would have to cross it. And then, you know, come back up here. How do we know this isn't the value of the equation? Because for this to occur, you would have to have another solution for x is equal to 6 between 1 and 3. Right? We know there's one at 1, we know there's one at 4, and we know that there's none in between. And so for you to cross this line and create another solution is not allowed. And therefore, we know that it can't be below the line, it has to be above the line, and therefore, f of 3 is greater than 6.